and to your right at all questions. Uh, good afternoon. I want to thank you all for being here today. And I most of all want to thank my colleagues who are here with me. Um, I want to thank Senators Graham and Wicker, Senator Collins, Senator Chambliss, and Senator Isaacson. And I know that there are uh, others who have also co-sponsored uh, this legislation that we're going to talk about and the amendment. Uh, we're here uh, today because I have, we have filed a bill that addresses uh, the recent cuts to the cost of living increases for our military retirees, including our wounded warriors, and provides a pay for to fix that for those who have sacrificed so much for our nation. And uh, some of us had supported the budget and some of us didn't because of this issue, but we are unified in wanting to fix this for our men and women in uniform and believe that we can do that uh, with the bill uh, that we have filed by fixing fraud within our tax code. Uh, essentially, what we have is a situation where uh, the additional child tax credit is being claimed and without having to put a Social Security number down, the Treasury IG looked at this issue and found, uh, and it's been investigated by other groups and found, frankly, fraud, where we have people who are, uh, the Treasury Department IG found that individuals who were not authorized to work in the United States received $4.2 billion by claiming the additional child tax credit, which is a refundable credit. Uh, and so this is a really a situation of common sense where, frankly, we can fix this, the budget, for those who have served our country and have taken the bullets on our behalf. But not only that, uh, this has been filed uh, on the unemployment insurance extension. Uh, the Joint Tax Committee has estimated we can save 20, close to $20 billion over 10 years by fixing this fraud in our tax code. Uh, and so in addition to fixing the military retiree issue, we can also pay for the unemployment insurance three-month extension that's on the floor right now and return money to reduce the deficit. So it's a three-four, a three-four to fix what should be fixed regardless that's fraud within uh, what's happening right now. And just some of the examples of this, according to a 2012 news report, an undocumented worker in Indiana admitted that his address was used to file tax returns by four other undocumented workers who fraudulently claimed 20 children in total, resulting in tax refunds totaling nearly 30,000. That same news report found that many undocumented workers are claiming the tax credit for children who do not even live in our country. And there's questions of whether some of these children even exist. In another incident in May of 2012 in North Carolina, investigators uncovered more than 1,000 tax returns linked to eight addresses with refunds of more than $5 million. Investigators in Charlotte discovered that one address had 236 returns with it worth more than $1.1 million in refunds. This is fraud. It should be stopped. And we should make this change. It's good government. And we can do so while serving our men and women in uniform, helping those who are struggling to find work, and also um, reducing our deficit. So this is our common sense amendment. Uh, I would hope that we will get a vote on this amendment on the uninsurance extension because it does uh, what, what all of us, uh, excuse me, the unemployment extension, what all of us, uh, I think what the Democrats have said that they hope to do. And it also fixes something that should be fixed. And I can't imagine that we wouldn't get a vote on this. We're calling on the majority leader to provide us a vote uh, on this common sense amendment. And I hope that we can get this uh, supported and voted for. I also wanted to add that I'm very encouraged that the chairman of the Budget Committee, Patty Murray, has recently told the Navy Times that she would welcome a repeal of all the cuts uh, to the military retirement to their cost of living increases if lawmakers could find a way to replace the estimated $6 billion pay for of the rollback to the COLAs to our men and women in uniform, uh, their military retirees under the age of 62. Well, here's the good news. I would say to Chairman Murray, 
We have a proposal that not only does that, but pays for the unemployment insurance extension and helps the deficit situation. So I would uh, call on my colleagues across the other side of the aisle, let's vote on this, let's solve this, let's move forward with a common sense proposal. And with that, I would like to call on my colleague, Senator Roger Wicker. <coughs>